quick video update. Yes, you can make chocolate chip cookies in a frying pan, nonstick on your stovetop, as opposed to putting them in the oven. Here are the secrets. You have a good nonstick frying pan. I put a link down in the description with a good fitting lid, something that fits on tight. What I do is I turn the biggest burner I have on to somewhere between medium and low. So we're talking like, here, I'll do this in real time. So it's like a really, really low flame. So there's medium, there's low. I'm kind of somewhere just right in the middle. So that's how low the flame is. So basically what I do is I put the pan on, right? Put my cookie dough in there. Usually I can fit about eight in a 10 inch pan and they're tablespoon size balls of cookie dough. So put your cookie dough in there. If it's a nonstick pan, you may still want to use like just a very light coating of butter. So just grab butter, like the whole stick, like in this case, and basically just rub the bottom of the pan with it. Just a very, very thin, light coating, just so you have something between the cookie dough and the actual pan itself. So what I'll do is I'll put the cookie dough in, right? Put the lid on and then just let it go. Let it do its thing between medium and low heat, like somewhere right in the middle for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, what will happen is, is the balls of cookie dough should deflate down, right? So a tablespoon sized ball of cookie dough, it should deflate down to like these roundish silver dollar kind of shapes. After 10 minutes, they should look something like this or very similar. They will darken when you take them out eventually, like when they finally cool down and all that. So don't be too worried about the color, but as long as you keep the heat between low and medium, more on the lower side, you should be fine. So 10 minutes, after 10 minutes, I shut off the gas, right? And then move the pan off the heat and let it sit for another 10 minutes so that these can settle, right? So then after that 10 minutes of kind of cooling resting time, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll take them out and put them on a, on a dish or a cookie sheet or something similar just to kind of finish cooling down. You can use something like a good silicone spatula. I will put a link to this down below in the description as well as a link to this OXO Good Grips nonstick pan. So that way you have at least the pan, the lid, and the spatula to pull everything out. But yeah, basically at this point, if you want softer cookies, chocolate chip cookies or peanut butter cookies or whatever you made, you can go ahead and eat them. They're, they're pretty pliable and soft. I like mine to be a little firmer. I like them to set up a little more. So what I'll do is I'll take these and I'll put them in the fridge for about maybe another 10 minutes just so they reach the right consistency and texture and all that good stuff. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Link down below in the description to some pretty cool products, to the pan, to the spatula and some other stuff. Hit that like button, hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.